I am sick today. Really sick. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, I've been sick loads. I woke up at like quarter seven. I just lying there for a bit and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be sick. Went to the toilet, was sick. Oh, I feel lousy. I feel like all feverish, like hot and cold and not good at all. I thought like maybe the sickness had gone. I was sick like quite a lot at like seven o'clock. This is TMI, but hey, I was sick quite a lot. And then um, like a, an hour, like a couple of hours passed and I wasn't sick. I thought, oh, I'm, maybe I'm okay. Like, no more sick. I was feeling a bit dehydrated, so I went and got a glass of water. Just barfed up that glass of water, so no. It is the uh, the kids' piano lessons. They're doing piano lessons Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it is Wednesday, so they've got piano lessons today, which I take them to. Which I, I will be all right for. It's like, I prefer not to be doing it, but yeah, I can drive them down. Like, when you're a mum, I think you learn to be able to just get on with things and do things that you don't want to do or whatever when you're feeling a bit ill so I'm gonna spend the morning in bed I think I'm gonna try and get back to sleep although I'm not tired so I'm finding it a bit difficult I'm gonna try and maybe get back to sleep see if I feel a little bit better after like an hour's kip I'm not eating lunch no way the thought of food makes me want to be sick so yeah I'm gonna try and get to sleep and I will let you know how I feel after that Okay, I'm up. I'm feeling lousy. Really lousy. So I put my hoodie on. It makes me feel better. I don't really know why, but it just does. I'm cold. But I'm going over to the main house. Everyone's having lunch. <sighs> okay. I'm off. Collect. Whatever I'm collecting. Oh, everything aches when I move. I'm definitely fevery. It's not good, but I'm, I'll be alright. I'm not going to moan this whole vlog. That's the last time I'm going to mention that I feel like crap today. I promise. Maybe. <laughs> Look how beautiful the drive is though. You go through this tiny little village where the dogs just lay in the road, waiting for you to run them over. See, look at that dog. Like, they just don't get out of the way. It's just so green and so beautiful. It really is nice. yesterday actually we were talking about um whether we could live here because we're literally you're like half an hour's drive from anything particularly and we were, we were talking about whether we could live completely out in the sticks like that and i don't think that i could do i mean it's lovely to be here for a couple of weeks and it's you know so beautiful and really enjoying ourselves but to do it full time but to actually then come and live somewhere like this on a full-time basis i don't think i could do it because i I, I don't know what whether I'm like a city person or I think kind of maybe I'm an in-between type people person. I like having thing amenities close to me. I would like to live. I'd love to live in New York at some point in my life. So would Stephen actually. We want to do like a whole year in New York so we get to see all of the seasons, which would be awesome to do if we got to do that. But obviously right now, I mean, there's no way I can afford New York for a year. But at some point that would be cool to do. I love cities, but when I'm in the city, I really start to crave nature and being out in the countryside or being like at a beach or something. And when I'm at a beach, I don't crave the city, but when I'm in the countryside, I crave city or like something more. So maybe like a beach location. I think we've been just discussing. We've just been discussing then about what we're gonna, um, what our plans possibly are for the upcoming month and a half, two months, which. Um, I'll talk to you about maybe maybe later in the vlog actually because I'm almost at Antoinette's work. So we're back home. The afternoon did not go at all as I thought it was going to. We didn't end up going to piano lessons which is a bit of a shame. So yeah I thought the plan was that I was going to pick some things up, drop them off and then come back and get the kids and take them to the piano lessons but um she'd completely forgotten that they had piano lessons and we were doing like a load of errands like doing some shopping and taking some parcels to the post office and things and so we didn't end up going which is really kind of annoying like i said because like i've paid for Stephen to go to these piano lessons now and <laughs> yeah didn't you missed one which it's not the end of the world but it's like we 
paid for like a whole month and we're only here for like two weeks out of the month anyway so it's just annoying but never mind it's not the end of the world i've just brought three other children around so there's now six kids so that's nice i've been feeling like slightly better as the afternoon has gone on i think you can just kind of feel sorry for yourself and if you get up and move about maybe sometimes it helps but i still don't think i could face eating anything or anything like that well i know i promised that i wouldn't talk about how i wish i feel <laughs> at all in today's vlog but it has gotten to what time is it eight o'clock yeah it is eight o'clock and i got back i came over and lay on the bed and just started feeling really lousy again so i've just been on the bed and like i'm shivering like i've got this on because you see i've got my hoodie on and when i like, when i take it off i'm so cold so i've got my hoodie on and um steven's been playing have you had a nice time yeah. actually i've not really seen you all day have i <laughs> what have you been doing Playing, you know, in oh, the Domingo. Is it? Is it Domingo? Yeah, yeah. His name. Do you know what does Domingo mean in Spanish? Um, um, um Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Well done. Um, I don't know. Oh, did you not remember that? Um, so you're playing with the nerve guns. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. And then, yeah, you stayed over there, didn't you? And we went on the trampoline. Oh, have you been on the trampoline? Oh, yeah. that's good. So, what are you thinking about, like the iPad and stuff? It's you mm. quite. You're thinking it's a good thing. Me and Stephen had a bit of a a chat before about um i mean i, I go on my ipad and my, we both are huge gamers and i have far too much screen time and i know that and stephen has far too much screen time as well and we're gonna both consciously try to not have as much and especially here with like the, how many kids is there like six kids now or something yeah there was 11 of us Eating, 11 of you eating oh yes yeah, quite a lot yeah so there's like six kids two of them like, are boys of his exact age and so you know there's so much for them to do they can go in the pool they can go bike riding they can go on the trampoline they, there's so much to do up here and so we sort of were saying that we need to try and disconnect from um gaming or our screens more than we do at the moment and so he hasn't been on we haven't been on all day really have you know since like well first thing this morning but then after that no no, she hasn't really been on at all. And you've enjoyed yourself and yeah, it's so much better, isn't it? Just it was better when um, they got you got back. Yeah, because you were just with um Ilvi before when yeah. your Ilvi is seven. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, yeah, when there's more of you or there's boys of your age or whatever, it's good. Well, I'm glad you had a nice time. So yeah, we're consciously trying to get away from the app. but not just even myself as well, because very often I'm sitting and I use the excuse of the fact that I'm working. But I know that I could do that work, like I'm editing the vlog, but I know I could do that so much quicker. Like I'm starting editing and then I get onto social, maybe I should turn off my Wi-Fi when I'm editing and stuff. So I'm not distracted. Whatever, when I'm doing like some Instagrammy stuff, it takes, like there's no need for it to take me as long as it does take me. I just faff around for maybe an hour when I, if I'm more productive, I could do it maybe 10 minutes. So uh, if I can try and do that more and like Stephen can use his iPad and that in those times, then other times we go, we, we he's doing other things rather than just sitting on his iPad. Because you've got loads of other interests, haven't you? There's loads of other things that you enjoy doing. And you actually do like coming off your iPad really, don't you? It's just a case of you're not, you don't do it. <laughs> what should I say? Cold. Oh, I hope you don't get ill. You've got a cold, haven't you? I hope you don't well, get, I yeah, you are. I hope you don't get sicky. It's horrible. Um, But you like coming off your screen, don't you, and doing other things. Yes. It's just a case of sort of doing it initially and then they'll get into the sort of habit what are you looking at oh like the lizards lines. yeah these freak me out because when it's like dark i think that they're lizards they're, they're like little butterflies yeah but i am gonna go to bed i think and hope that i feel better in the morning and um, mum brought me over that was so kind it was it tasted vile no idea what it was but she did tell me it was some sort of stuff in it that maybe will make me feel better. Hopefully it does. I just feel really, yeah, I mean, I don't really feel sick anymore. So hopefully I'm not sick again. But um, I don't know if I'm on in the morning. Am I supposed to be? Oh, I don't know. I'll be up anyway, probably. We've had a nice day. Well, a nice evening. Yeah. What did you have for tea? Uh, I was going to say, there's the nicest tea that we've had here. Oh, really? But then I was thinking about the spaghetti. Oh, was the spaghetti the nice? Oh, 
What did you have? Is it um, something that I'm going to wish I was um, not sick for? Yeah, I didn't go over for tea. Okay. Um, it was fried rice with chicken and... you got to have meat? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it's because the meat was there. Oh, okay, because he likes, yeah. Um, and a few vegetables. Oh, really? Separately. And it was really nice. I'm and glad I you liked what it. what it was called, but it was Thai. Oh, right. It was quite nice. I don't really know what it was. You don't really know what it was. Oh, I'll have to ask. They kind of look like meats. Oh, right, okay. Because meat isn't Thai. Mm -mm. Oh, I'll ask them what it was. That's good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did um, Natasha make the pavlova? Did you eat it? or? Uh, no. She didn't make it? Uh, no, she didn't make it. Oh, but you didn't I have any? Did you not? Was it like a passion fruit? Did you not try it? You like meringue, don't you? You know it's meringue? No. Did you not know it was no. meringue? You should have known. Never mind. Did it all go? Uh, there's some left over. Actually, I have no idea because they were like. No. Oh. I think they were like serving it as I left. Oh, did you say goodbye and good night yeah, and yeah. everything? That's good. Right, on that note, that was a big chat, wasn't it? On that note, I'm mm -hmm. going to say goodbye and good night. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, it will be all good and I can wake up nice and early, go for a run, do some yoga, and I'll be fighting fit. We shall see. Time will tell. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. What are you looking at? How long have we been chatting? Six minutes. Bye! <laughs>